Now, today is our Thanksgiving Sunday. And can we say, Thank you, Lord? Because you are good. Okay, and uh, maybe dahil po Thanksgiving, we'll give times about isa na magpasalamat. Ha? Maski a one-liner of Thanksgiving sa Panginoon, just stand and say, Thank you, Lord, kung paano nyo idagdagan yun. Okay? Ako, Thank you, Lord, for healing my pamangkin. O, sige, stand lang tapos... Uh, Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the employer and to my apo. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Sino pa? O dito naman sa kabilang side, baka malunod tayo. <laughs> Anong pasalamatan ninyo dyan, mga ading? Advance, no? Praise the Lord, no? So, God is good, no? So, so far, may dalawa na kong alam na member natin na may advance, no? So, sekreto lang namin yan. Siguro pag-usapan namin sa malamig na lugar, no? Like, uh, sa McDonald's or sa Jollibee, and, uh, sige. Sino pang may gustong ipasalamat sa Diyos? Sige, Adi Led. Amen. Sige po. O, oh, sige, malunod nga tayo eh. Kasi andito lahat yung bigat. Andito dito naman. Sige. Pasalamat sa mga kapatid natin. O, oh, yung sa gitna pa daw. Mauna. Ay, <laughs> tapos na pala. So, marami tayong mga bagay na pasalamatan sa Diyos, ano? In every aspect ng buhay natin, in every way, siguro iba sa atin na hiya lang magpasalamat ano? uh, sa Panginoon. But uh, marami pong mga bagay na gusto nating pasalamatan ng Diyos. Okay? And we praise the Lord because yung Thanksgiving ay hindi lang naman every uh, November 23 or 22 ano? or every November. Pero ang Thanksgiving ay... Bawat araw. And we praise the Lord because Thanksgiving indeed is a way to remember the Lord's goodness sa buhay natin. So it is a way to remember na ang Diyos natin ay mabuti. At ang Diyos natin ay mabait. Okay? And because His love is unfailing, hindi po uh, na lulusaw, hindi po na fail. Ano yung unfailing sa Tagalog? Hindi tayo Tagalog yan. No? <laughs> hindi, na kuku- hindi kumukupas ano, yung pag-ibig ng Diyos sa atin. Okay? Uh, it is, His love is the same yesterday, today, and forever because that's the character of God. Now, most of us are familiar with the traditional story of Thanksgiving where William Bradford of the Plymouth Rock you know, proclaimed a day of Thanksgiving to celebrate the survival of the pilgrims in their second year in the new world okay as well as an abundant harvest that they had reaped with the aid of the indians however most people don't know that the first american thanksgiving did not occur in 1621 with this group you know? but uh, actually the first uh, thanksgiving was recorded in Virginia 11 years er- earlier and it was not a feast now the winter of 1610 at Jamestown had reduced a group of 409 settlers to 60 now the survivors prayed for help without knowing when or how it might come when help arrived in the form of a ship filled with food and supplies from England a prayer meeting was held to give thanks to God 
no one would think that after seeing so many of their loved ones die due to the hardships of the new world, they would not feel that thankful or thankfulness. But no, for they realized they had much to be thankful for the Lord. Marami pong mga bagay na sila ay pwedeng mapasalamatan sa Diyos. Now, this is it recorded in our history, you know. But, you know, when you go back to the biblical times, for example, you know, when you go back to even in the book of Genesis, uh, people were also celebrating Thanksgiving. Now, you remember Cain and Abel, for example, who gave their offerings, you know, na nagpasalamat sila sa Diyos, for example, for the blessing ng Panginoon sa kanila. They offer an offering of Thanksgiving to God and uh, that is of course in the biblical times we can see that you now people of God will always be grateful to the Lord for all the blessings that God has given them so we too have many blessings and many things to be thankful for sa Panginoon we ourselves maybe often do not realize how blessed we are okay or how thankful we ought to be until that we have Maybe experience something na kung baga ay mapasalamatan natin, okay? So we ought to be thankful not only during Thanksgiving month for God's goodness, but also even in times na meron po tayong mga bagay-bagay na of course na experience nahan, okay? So we we give thanks to the Lord for His thankful for His. Uh, faithfulness sa atin and therefore tayo po mga anak ng Diyos every day ought to be a day of thanksgiving okay every day ought to be a day of thanksgiving we should be forever thankful to the Lord for so many things and so many reasons sa buhay natin kailan po huli tayo nagpasalamat sa Diyos kailan pong huli natin nagsabi sa Panginoon Panginoon salamat okay Kanina lang, ano? salamat sa bagong buhay, salamat sa Sunday. Okay. Kayo po ba'y nakapasalamat na sa corona? Panginoon, salamat na may corona. Ito pong corona na hindi maganda. No? Coronavirus. Okay. Now, the passage that we have just read today or this afternoon gives us an eternal truth why we should be forever grateful to God. Now, here is a story of... Uh, of uh, David, for example, the one who, who, who wrote this psalm, okay, the psalmist who wrote this, and uh, he experienced the goodness of the Lord in his life, okay? And this goodness of the Lord caused him to remember, to thank the Lord for who He is and who God is sa kanyang buhay. Marami pong mga bagay na tayo po ipasalamatan sa Diyos. Ano? Maraming mga bagay na nang, uh, na-experiencehan natin. But let's look at the psalmist. And let me just share to you something here. Okay, so thanksgiving, a way to remember God's unfailing love. I, uh, I mentioned last time, uh, this morning, okay, about uh, uh, I heard you know, Francis Chan, according to him, he said, When we know the Lord Jesus Christ... <coughs> It is easy to give thanks to the Lord. Giving thanks to the Lord is possible. Uh, in every circumstance, in everything, in every happening sa buhay natin, pwede tayong magpasalamat sa Diyos. Bakit po? Well, sabi nga natin kanina, because God is in control of everything. He wills everything. And we are in the Lord Jesus Christ. You know? So whatever happens, we are in Christ. We can thank the Lord for what God has given us. I've shared it, this to you, but uh, for us who have not yet heard this, you can take something that you can be thankful to the Lord, like for example, yung ating mga hininga. No? Hindi nyo ba alam na tayo po'y humihinga okay? sa isang araw ng mas o menos 23 mil. Okay? But kailan po tayo nagpasalamat sa Diyos sa ni isang hinga lang? Uh, ah, salamat Panginoon Pwede pa akong mahinga okay? And uh, the process of that Of course uh, takes a uh, Great physician a Great uh, engineer Ng ating designer Ng ating katawan 
na pwede tayong mag-inhale at mag-exhale. And it talks about God's uh, working sa buhay natin. And yung heart natin ay nagkakabog-kabog uh, every time. And every minute dapat mayroon tayong 80 bits per minute sa ating mga puso. Otsenta kakabog. No? Kabog, 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 kabog. No? So dapat otsenta. Now what if kung magkaroon ka ng 120? Nako, medyo mabilis yung heartbeat mo, di ba? Medyo meron kang baka kinakabahan ka, ano? Dahil, uh, for example, uh, hindi natin alam. Okay? But normally, you should have 60 to 100 beats ano, per minute. Now, kung isang oras, for example, meron kang 4,800 na, uh, na beats na puso mo, normal, okay? Sa isang araw, alam niyo ba, before kayo or after kayo na, ay, hindi naman natutulog yung heart, no? Pag natulog ka, what if kung matulog na rin yung heart mo, hindi pwede, ano? Now, imagine, <laughs> kung matulog ka, yung heart mo hindi natutulog. At sa isang araw, maski tulog ka, ang heart mo ay hindi natutulog, kailangan niya mag-work, mag-pump, for example, ng 115,200 times. Naku, nakakapagod, ano? Pero, come to think of it, hindi naman kasi natutulog yung puso natin. At kung ang namumuhay tayo ng, for example, 80 years, ano? So, sa isang taon lang, meron kang 42,048,000 na pagkabog ng puso mo. At praise the Lord, yung mga puso natin ay hindi naman napapagod. As long na wala naman silang blockage, ano, wala naman silang kolesterol sa loob, ma magana mag magbit ang puso mo. Ano. Pero yan lang, pag uh, pinapakain natin ng mga matatabang uh, pagkain yung puso natin, nako, uh, magkaroon sila ng hirap sa pag beat, ano, <laughs> every minute. Okay? Mag-pump. Mag -mag ano. Now, sa dugo, for example, sabi dito, meron kang at least, no, approximately your heart pumps 2,000 gallons, 7,571 7, liters of blood each day. No, sa puso mo. And all of this, you know, gawa ng Diyos na kuminsan ay hindi na natin makita at hindi natin mapasalamatan ng Diyos. Ano? But if we acknowledge that God is good and He is working everything para sa buhay natin, para lang po na mag-pump yung ating mga puso, okay, para lang po na tayo po ay makalakad at uh, makagawa ng mga bagay na gawain natin, is all because sa puso natin na pinapump ng Diyos. Bagay na dapat natin pasalamatan ang Diyos. Di ba pag napunta ka ng hospital, no, pag nagpapump ka, magkano bayad? Mahal, ano? Di ba? Pag, uh, for example, agaw buhay na yung isang tao, tapos lagyan ng oxygen. Mahal yung oxygen. Okay? Yung isang tanki, siguro nasa 8,000 na ngayon. Okay? How much more pa yung pump, ano, para sa yung iba, manual yung ginagamit, ano? Uh, para mag-pump yung heart mo. Tapos, i, anong tawag doon sa may, may electric, ano? Uh, ano bang tinatawag doon? Sinasyak ka, ano? Para masyak yung heart mo, baka yung heart mo ay natulog, ano? Dahil na-accidente, natulog yung heart mo, isyak siya. Okay? Uh, para masyak siya, ay, naku, no, kailangan ko magising, ano? So, uh, baka may natutulog dyan, may isyak natin, uh, para ma magising, ano? So, Kailangan, di ba, pag manual, okay, mas mahal. Pero imagine ng Diyos, hindi, nag, hindi sinisingil tayo ng, hindi tayo sinisingil ng Diyos, ano? Sa pumping ng heart natin, sa beats ng heart natin, every day. So every day, you have something to thank the Lord for. Okay? Pasalamatan ng Diyos. And this is what the psalmist would say. At marami pa siyang mga bagay na pwedeng pasalamatan ng Diyos. Now, ano mga bagay na pwede nating pasalamatan ng Diyos that will cause us, no, things that will cause us to remember the goodness or the uh, or thanking the Lord, you know? Now, number 1, sabi ng samista, verses number 1 to 4, it says, "Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. For his loving kindness is everlasting." 
Let Israel say his loving kindness is everlasting. Or let the people of God, let the IBCF church say his loving kindness is everlasting. Oh, let the house of Aaron say his loving kindness is everlasting. Oh, let those who fear the Lord say his loving kindness is everlasting. Now, every verse then, merong loving kindness is everlasting. Is ever, his loving kindness is everlasting. Meaning, binibigyang pugay ng samista yung pagka mahabagin ng Diyos. Yung pagka loving ng Diyos na yung kanyang pag-ibig sa atin ay walang hanggan. Walang katapusan. And because of that love of the Lord, dapat tayo magpasalamat sa Kanya. Now, imagine, kung hindi ka love ng Diyos, ano? Ano kayo mangyari sa buhay natin? Kung hindi tayo love ng Panginoon, ano? Siguro hinayaan lang tayo ng Diyos na mamatay at walang ka hope hope ano? walang pag-asa sa buhay. Lahat tayo ay punta ng uh, dagat-dagat ang apoy. No? Walang help. But because of God's love, because of God's help, tayo po ay nagkaroon ng pag-asa. Alam niyo po anong klaseng pag-ibig mayroon ng Diyos sa atin? Ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay pag-ibig ng Diyos. And it is a love that is unconditional. Okay? The love of God is unconditional. It is loving us in spite of na tayo hindi kaibig-ibig. Okay? Anong nasa atin, for example, naibigin tayo ng Diyos? Wala, ano? Wala naman tayong pera. Wala naman tayong uh, pwedeng maibayad sa Diyos. Okay? But God still loved us. And he, this is the character of God. His loving kindness, that is one character of God that is everlasting, of course, because God is everlasting. His love is everlasting. His loving kindness is everlasting to us. And ngayong hapon, iniibig ka pa rin ng Diyos. Inibig ka ng Diyos noon, inibig ka ng Diyos ngayon, at iibigin ka ng Diyos sa dulo ng walang hanggan. Diba? May forever kayo ng Diyos ano? sa pag-ibig. Okay? Sa atin, pag-ibig natin, mayroong, kwan, ano? mayroong kondisyon. Uh, iibigin kita pag nagpadala ka ng pera sa akin. Ano? Iibigin kita pag uh, ano? maganda yung pakiki, pag, uh, pakipagtungo ko sa iyo pag uh, mayroon ako nito. Conditional yan. Ano? Pero ang Diyos, hindi. Ano? God loves us, sabi pa nga ni, ni Pablo ano, sa Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Kailan po tayo inibig ng Diyos? God commanded His love toward us in that while we were still sinners. He died for us. He demonstrated His love to us. Okay? Habang nung nasa kwan ka pa, no? nung nasa kalagayan ka pa ng buhay mo na hindi mo pinapansin ng Diyos, pero pinansin ka na ng Diyos. Okay? Nung time na hate mo ang Diyos, inibig ka ng Diyos. Nung time na uh, ikaw po ay naglalangoy-langoy ano, sa dagat ng kasalanan, ang Diyos ay nagbigay na sa iyo ng kaniyang pag-ibig. So He commended or He demonstrated His love to you that even when you were sinners, we are sinners, He died for us. That's the character of the love of God. Okay? So, dapat, yun po yung ating palaging i-remember, no? ilagay po sa ating mga mga kukote, you know? sa ating mga utak, that God's love is unconditional. That God's love is there for us regardless of whatever the circumstance is. Okay? Nabahaan ka man, ibig ka pa rin ng Diyos. Ba, pastor, nabahaan na nga, inibig pa nga. Uh, inibig pa ng Diyos, yes. Ano? ano man po yung buhay mo? Ano man po yung mga karanasan na nadaanan natin sa buhay? Ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay hindi nagbabago. Okay? Hindi kumukupas. Yan pala ang unfailing, no? Hindi kumukupas ang pag-ibig ng Diyos. So, yan po yung sabi ng samista, I thank the Lord because His loving kindness is everlasting. Okay? 
And the celebration of Thanksgiving is a way for me to remember that God's love is forever. The love of God is forever. Okay? So, mas kaya naman kalagayan natin, ibig pa rin tayo ng Panginoon. Mas kaya nahulog man tayo sa unfaithfulness sa Diyos, God still loves us. Everything, every day, every moment, tayo po iniibig ng Diyos. Number two, ano pang mag-remind sa atin? Thanksgiving reminds us of God's deliverance. Thank the Lord for His deliverance para sa atin. Now, deliverance for what? That's too general. Let's go to the specific. Letter A, deliverance ano, na, na experience mismo ng samista. Okay, ng author nito. Verse number 5 to 9 says, From my distress, I called upon the Lord, and the Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is for me. I will not fear. What can men do to me? The Lord is for me among those who help me. Therefore, I will look with satisfaction on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in men. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. And this is the experience of the psalmist. Sabi niya, ito po yung personal na experience ko. I have experienced the deliverance that God has given me. Why? Why did God deliver me? Because he said, verse number 5, Because in my problem, in my present problem, maybe he said, I called upon the Lord. And the Lord what? Answered me and set me in large place. Parang yung picture nito, para siyang lumulutang-lutang sa kalagitnaan ng baha, for example. Ano? Nung nagbaha sa Marikina, may isang tao na, nalu- na inanod ng tubig na kumakaway-kaway kaya lang walang nag-rescue sa kanya walang nagbigay ng uh, of course sa kasagsagan ng bagyo kasagsagan ng baha no? uh, kung wala ka naman pang ligtas ane, baka dalawa na kayo eh, hindi ka rin pwede or wala ka rin kakayanan na magligtas sa kanya okay? pero ito sabi ng samista in my distress in time that I am helpless I have nothing to uh, to cling on but I called upon the Lord and the Lord answered me and He delivers me from my situation from my distress okay and He set me in a large place yung lugar na kung saan ako tumawag sa Diyos lugar na parang makipot na para wala akong uh, freedom doon na para wala akong doon para doon na parang t- tinatabunan ako ng mga problema. Pero nang tumawag ako sa Diyos, nilagay niya ako sa isang lugar na masyadong malaki para makalanghap ng masarap na hangin, fresh air, at magkaroon ako ng lugar na pwede akong umikot. Okay? Hindi ako, hindi ako gipit sa lugar. The Lord is for me, I will not fear what man can do to me. And he was delivered by God, of course. And the Lord is for me among those who help me. Therefore, sabi niya, I will look with satisfaction on those who hate me. Sa buhay niya, parang maraming mga tao na nag hate sa kanya. Well, of course, that's a picture of the life of David. And yet, he was satisfied. Why? Because he knew that God will deliver him in times of distress, in times of trial sa buhay niya. Okay? And because he has experienced the deliverance of the Lord, he then said this, It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. Bakit kaya? No? Well, of course, yung tao, of course, tayo pa iba-iba tayo ng desisyon. No? Dahil nga, yun po yung ating uh, character, that's our katangian na um, kung minsan pwede tayo mapagkatiwalaan, kung minsan hindi, no? Pero ang Diyos, hindi nagbabago yung katangian ng Diyos. And that's why sabi ng Samista, it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in men. Okay, maybe sa buhay natin, naka-experience tayo ng ganyan. No? Pinangakuan tayo, nag-trust naman tayo. Pero at the end of the day, wala tayong mahagilap. Okay? Wala tayong makita. Pero ang Diyos, nung kayo po, nung tayo po ay 
nagtiwala sa Diyos, we took refuge from God or in the Lord, then He answered us. And it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in leaders or princes. So, he experienced a personal deliverance from God because he called upon the name of the Lord. Ano po yung mga distress sa buhay natin? Okay? And uh, just call upon the Lord and He will be with you. And that's a thing to be thankful for to the Lord. Let be His personal confidence on God's deliverance. Ano po yung kanyang... Uh, ito po yung pinangahawakan niya. Verse number 13. All nations around me, in the name of the Lord, I will surely cut them off. Now, this is a confidence of the psalmist that he will be delivered by God. They surrounded me. Yes, they surrounded me. In the name of the Lord, I will surely cut them. They surrounded me like bees. No? They were extinguished as a fire of thorns. In the name of the Lord, I will surely cut them off. You pushed me violently so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. Now, it talks about the deliverance of the Lord that this psalmist that experienced ano, sa kanyang buhay. And uh, all nations, imagine, ano, maybe yung mga nasyon sa paligid niya, like, for example, Gaza, Philistine, Egypt, uh, Assyria, Assyria, kung ano pa yung mga sa paligid ng samista during the time, ano? And yet, sabi niya, God has delivered me and the Lord has helped me. And that is one thing that the psalmist was thanking the Lord. Now, there are times sa buhay natin na marami tayong mga pangalinlangan sa buhay natin. Marami tayong mga, for example, no, uh, uh, time na parang helpless tayo, wala tayong... No, parang you are on a side na... Pag uh, harap mo, pader. Sa likod mo, pader. Sa gilid mo, pader. Sa kaliwa mo, pader. Saan ka ngayon pupunta? Taas. Taas mo, roof. Ano? Okay? Well, of course, the only way is up. Ano? And we call upon God, though you are surrounded by nations, and nations maybe are hunting you like this, Samis, and yet he called upon God, <coughs> and the Lord God answered him. Okay, so it was a personal <coughs> Eh, tubig ba ako dito? Meron, okay. <coughs> Water break. So it is a personal deliverance, confidence on the deliverance of God that God will deliver him. And that's, of course, a promise, you know, uh, time na mayroon tayong mga pinagdadaanan sa buhay. We have confidence that God will deliver us. Kung hindi tayo, no, kung hindi ang Diyos, sino pa kayo mag-deliver sa atin, you know? Kung hindi ang Diyos mag-deliver sa atin, kanino pa tayo hihingi ng tulong maliban sa Diyos? So the psalmist has, has experienced it. <coughs> and for us also, <coughs> we can trust the Lord in all of these things, no? mga bagay na nangyayari sa buhay natin. Okay? Let us see. Ano pa? Ano pang deliverance na na-experience ng samista? And he, he took confidence in the Lord for that. His personal trust on God's strength, okay, for deliverance. God's strength. Ano? <clears throat> Sabi ng verse number 14, The Lord is my strength and song, and He has become my salvation. The sound of joyful shouting and salvation is in the tents of the righteous, in the house of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I will not die but live and tell the works of the Lord. The Lord has disciplined me severely, but He has not given me over to death. Open me or to me the gates of righteousness. I shall enter through them. I shall give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous will enter through it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me, and you have become my salvation. Now, this is a personal trust on God's strength for deliverance, that God is able to deliver him kung anuman po yung bagay na kanyang... Uh, 
uh, hinaharap no? and because of that wala, no? instead na magmurmur siya sabi niya the Lord is my strength and my song and he has become my salvation okay? so in times na siguro ganyan din tayo sa samista may mga bagay tayo na hinaharap may mga bagay tayo na kung baga tingnan mo napakalaking uh, suliranin haharapin naman sa buhay Okay, like for example, uh, baha, ano, napakalaking baha, ano? Like for example, mga kung ano-ano pang mga kalamidad sa buhay. Pero if God is your deliverer, is if God, if you put your trust in the Lord and in His strength that He can deliver you and God is able to deliver you. Therefore, you as, uh, like the psalmist, you will say, the Lord is my strength and He is my song. Okay? For He has become my salvation. He will be the one to deliver me. And siguro yun po magandang kwan, ano? attitude sa mga anak ng Diyos. Kung mayroon man tayong mga problema na pinagdadaanan, ano? mayroon man tayong mga bagay na hinaharap, sometimes hindi tayo o nakalimutan natin umawit. Ano? Di ba? Kalo nyo, pag umawit tayo dito lang, for example, dito ka sa stage, ano? Pero ano ba ang magandang pag-aawit din ay sa time na nasa stage ka ng problema. Okay? When you are having problem, okay, one of the signs that you are trusting the Lord is just you are what? Singing. Okay? Kumanta ka sa Panginoon. Bakit? Alam mo that God will deliver you because He is the God who has strength to deliver you. The sound of joyful shouting of salvation in the tents of the righteous. You know? Meron kang problema, sabi ng samista, pero ang bahay mo, for example, yun, for example, ano, may baha. Okay? Lahat kayo na baha naman doon. Example lang. Ano? Pero meron tayong mga kapatiran, no? family na na baha. Okay? And gabi, for example, gabi, paano mo malaman at ma-differentiate yung bahay ng believers at sa bahay ng hindi nakakilala kay Kristo. Magulo. <laughs> magulo, ano? Oo. Oh, magulo yung hindi naniwala sa Diyos. Ang bahay ng naniniwala sa Diyos ay tahimik at sumisipol pa. Okay? At kumakanta ng in everything give thanks for this is the will of God. No? Kaya lang kuminsan nakalimutan ng mga anak ng Diyos yan. Okay? Instead na magpasalamat sa Diyos, sabi nga natin kanina, instead of giving thanks to the Lord, they give what? Complain to the Lord. They give murmuring to the Lord. They give kung ano pa, question sa Panginoon. Okay? Pero sabi ng salmista, if you trust in the strength of the Lord, the sound of your family, sabi niya, the joyful shouting and salvation is in the houses of those righteous people. O lagay natin sa buhay ng bawat isa. If you are experiencing distress, the shout, joyful shout. Sabi pa nga dyan, no? joyful shouting. No, paano ka maka-joyful shout kung nag, uh, naka-experience ka ng mga challenges sa buhay? Ano? Mahirap kung minsan mag-shout. Ay, mahirap kung minsan kumanta. For example, nasa kalagitnaan ka ng... Uh, Uh, problema may time ka pa ba na magkanta? may time ka pa ba na mag-shout at magpasalamat sa Diyos? No? at the top of your voice salamat Panginoon ano? sa time ng problema pero ito po yung di ba? <clears throat> the experience of the psalmist the sound of joyful shouting Shouting of what? Shouting and salvation is in the house of the Lord. Meaning, ni ano man po yung mangyayari sa buhay at sa pamilya ng mga anak ng Diyos, there will still what? Joyful shouting. Okay? Joyful praising the Lord. Joyful thanksgiving na dahil may ganito pasalamat ang anak ng Diyos. So, Thanksgiving for God's deliverance, thanksgiving for God's love, and number three, thanksgiving for the victory that God has wrought us 
has given us. Or even the victory of God. Look at verse number 22 to 29. Anong mga victories na dapat natin pasalamatan sa Diyos? Now, imagine, remember this. Our God is a God of victory. Okay? He is the God who is victorious. Yan po yung sabi ng Biblia. Now, ano po yung victory na meron tayo dito sa Diyos? Sabi ng Diyos, or sabi ng sabi mista, verse number 22, the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Okay? So, actually, this is a messianic psalm. The stone is no other than the rock which the Lord Jesus Christ, according to the Apostle Paul. And he has been rejected, you know? He has been rejected by His own people. He has been rejected by those nations. But the stone that the builders rejected has become what? The chief cornerstone. He becomes the pillar. He is the God. He is the Lord Jesus Christ who is our pillar. And everything that happens to us is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. Everything that nangyayari sa buhay natin, makasabi ba tayo na, well, because God does this, it is beautiful. It is marvelous. Ano? Diba? Kasi ito po, pwede ba natin sabihin na dahil ang Diyos ay nagpadaan uh, ng bagyo sa aming lugar, then it is beautiful. Pwede ba natin sabihin na ganyan? Pwede, ano? Pwede. Kasi sabi dito ng samista, Whatever, whatever the happening sa buhay natin, it is the Lord's what? Doing. Ito pala ay gawain ng Diyos. Okay? So meaning, anuman po yung unos na dumaan sa buhay mo, anuman po yung unos na na-experience ng family mo, you can still what? You can still thank the Lord because the psalmist says with us, it is marvelous. It is wonderful. Okay? Pero alam niyo, sa libutan, hindi maka na wonderful yan. Okay? Bakit po? Well, as we connect it sa, sabi nga ni Pablo sa 1 Thessalonians 5.18, because it is the will of God. Because it is charged in the Lord Jesus Christ para sa atin. Okay? So, even though Christ was rejected, He still was victorious it was still marvelous in the eyes of God. Rejection becomes a marvelous thing in the eyes of God because God wills it. Okay? So, victory from rejection, let it be victory from the goodness of the Lord. Isa sa mga bagay na pasalamatan natin, ang Diyos natin ay Diyos ng pagkapanalo. Uh, pagkapanalo, victory, or victorious. Okay? Uh, ano pang victorious sa Tagalog? Tago nga yun. Ano? Basta anong literal yung interpretation ko. Ano? Hmm. Diyos ng kapalan, kapanalunan. Okay? Diyos ng katagumpayan. Palagi ka lang panalo. Okay? Nung Monday, naglaro kami ng basketball. Tinanong ako ni Sister Merle, Oh, ano? Kamusta ang laro niyo? Sabi ko, okay naman kasi nung first game, panalo sila yung kalaban namin. Second game, talo kami. So... <laughs> walang, kapala, walang kapanalunan, ano? Okay? Sa, sa buhay natin, hindi mo... <laughs> hindi mo sure kung manalo ka o hindi, ano? Pero alam niyo ba, kung nasa Diyos ka, palagi kang panalo. Walang talo kung sa Diyos ka. Well, maybe yung mga bagay na na-experience natin sa buhay natin, sabihin natin na parang talo tayo dito. Ano? <clears throat> kung, for example, binigay mong buhay mo sa Diyos, you committed your life to the Lord, and uh, uh, may mga challenges sa buhay mo, parang, ay, ito ba yung resulta ng pagbigay ko ng buhay ko sa Diyos? Nag-commit ako sa Diyos? Uh, dahil nagbigay ako ng aking buong commitment sa Diyos, bakit ganito yung nangyari? Parang talo ako. Now, maybe talo ka materially, kung yun po yung counting natin. Pero of course, God can also replace kung ano po yung nawala sa atin because He is in control of everything. 
But at the end of the day, on the spiritual side, panalo pa rin tayo. Bakit? Saan ka ba pupunta? Saan ka ba tutungo? At the, end of the, of, at the end of your life, you will be with God forever. Panalo po yun, di ba? You will be uh, worshiping the Lord forever. Panalo po yun. Okay? So, victory from the goodness of the Lord, verse 25, 29 says, O Lord, do save, we beseech you. O Lord, we beseech you. Do send what? Prosperity. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God and He has given us what? Light. Bind the festival sacrifice with cords to the horns of the altar. You are my God and I give thanks to you. You are my God, I extol you. Give thanks to the Lord for His good, for His loving kindness is everlasting. Our God, the God that we are serving is good and because He is good, panalo na tayo. Okay? We know that God will not do anything without His uh, signature on it, without His approval on it. Okay? So meaning, mas kano man po yung negative man po yung mga nangyari sa buhay natin, alam pa rin natin na panalo pa rin tayo kay Kristo. Panalo pa rin tayo sa Diyos. We are on the victorious side. Okay? Lahat na nasa kay Kristo, you are in victorious side. Nasa victory side tayo kung andyan tayo kay Kristo. Kasi walang katalunan, tama ba? Walang pagkatalo kung nasa kay Kristo ka. Kung wala kang Kristo, di ba? You will lost your eternity without the Lord Jesus Christ. Sabi ba nga ni Kristo, What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world, loses his own soul? So without Christ, you will, you will lose your eternity. You will lose your soul. And you will be lost forever in the presence of God because you will be in the presence of the enemy with Satan forever. No? Doon sa uh, hellfire. Pero when you are with God, you are victorious. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, you are victorious. Okay. We are victorious in the Lord. Maski ano pang sasabihin ng iba, wala tayong ganito, wala tayong ganyan, wala tayong kung ano-ano pa. But at the end of the day, we are victorious in the Lord. Sabi pa nga nila, nasa atin ang huling halak. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. Dahil tayo po ay nasa kay Kristo. Kung nasa kay Kristo ka, ang huling Uh, pagpapala ng Diyos ay nasa inyo. Walang walang talo sa Diyos. That's why, kung andito ka ngayong hapon, kung wala ka pa kay Kristo, eh, talo ka. Okay? Pero, kung meron ka ng Kristo sa buhay, ano man po yung mangyayari sa paligid mo, magunaw man ang mundo, wala mang vaccine sa virus, mamatay man tayo, panalo pa rin tayo. Kasi nasa kay Kristo tayo. Okay? That's the promise of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sabi yung mga ni John, ano? He was Christ as what? Eternal life. That is our destiny. We, will, we are destined in the Lord Jesus Christ. So, Thanksgiving is a way to remember God's unfailing love. His love for us, His deliverance for us. His victory that He has given us in the Lord Jesus Christ. You remember the Lord Jesus Christ? When He died at the cross of Calvary, He said, It is finished. And it was there that the Lord Jesus Christ was actually declaring what? Victory. Christ is a victorious Savior. Sabi ni Pablo, What, shall, what can separate us from the love of God? Nothing can separate us from the love of God. In all of this, sabi ni Pablo, we are more than conquerors. We are victorious in Christ. We are victorious in everything na nangyayari sa buhay natin. Well, the world will qualify or classify ito victory, ito hindi. Sa ating buhay bilang mga anak ng Diyos, tagumpay man o kabiguan, victorious ka kay Kristo. So, 
Dahil po dyan, ano po yung mga bagay na pwede nating pasalamatan ng Diyos? Okay? And we thank the Lord for His deliverance. God has given us deliverance from our sin when He died at the cross of Calvary. Can you thank the Lord for victory? God has given us victory when He died at the cross of Calvary. Can you thank of God's love? God loves us so much that He gave His Son for us so that His Son can take our place at the cross of Calvary. So we have so many things to be thankful for to the Lord. And every day, we should be cultivating an attitude of thankfulness. Sabihin mo sa atabi mo, be thankful ka na. Yun, ano. Magpasalamat na tayo sa Diyos dahil tayo po ay binigyan ng Diyos ng maraming mga pagpapala. Okay? Let us pray. Panginoon, maraming salamat for your word. Thank you for giving us the privilege to be reminded of uh, the truth that we should be thankful. And ito po ang uh, pag-celebrate namin ng Thanksgiving is a way for us to be reminded that you are the God who is the object of our Thanksgiving. Salamat Panginoon because of your love. Salamat Panginoon because of your deliverance. Salamat Panginoon because of your victory that you have given us in the Lord Jesus Christ. That in every aspect ng buhay namin, in every angle ng buhay namin, kami po ay nasa victorious side. We're on the victory side in the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is a thing that we can be thankful for sa aming Panginoon. Salamat po Dios. <clears throat> While your heads are bowed and as your eyes are closed, maybe today and dito kayo, or maybe you are joining us uh, in our online uh, worship, and you have not yet accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, you have no Christ in your life. Let me tell you this, sabi ni Cristo, what shall it profit for you? What it profits you? If you have everything in the world, and you have no Christ in your life. You will be lost from the presence of God forever. You will not be with God forever. So today, maybe, if you have not yet accepted the Lord, Christ is inviting you to come to Him. Accept Him as your Lord and Savior. <clears throat> Ask forgiveness of your sins and repent from your sins. And accept Him as uh, the one who can pay for your sins. And ask Him into your life. Or maybe, I presume, dito sa atin, lahat tayo yung mga anak ng Diyos. You are victorious with God. And that's one thing that we can be thankful to the Lord. God loves us, and that is one thing that we can thank the Lord. God delivers us, and that is one thing that we can thank the Lord for. Ano pong gusto mo pang pasalamatan sa Diyos? As you are maybe having your time with the Lord, as you are sitting where you are, can you whisper a thanksgiving sa Panginoon? And say, Panginoon, salamat for the salvation that you have given me, for the deliverance, for your love, or ano man po yung gusto mong pasalamatan sa Diyos. Thank the Lord for that. Or maybe may mga prayer concerns kayo, or mga bagay na gusto niyo pang or commit sa Panginoon as we are singing our invitation song just come and we will be happy for your decisions Father, salamat po for this time bless your people thank you for your word in Jesus name we pray